Oklahomans will vote in 2026 on a state question to raise the minimum wage to $12 an hour in 2027 and then gradually increase it until 2029. News on 6's Kristen Weaver has a reaction from both sides of this. Kristen? Well, Jonathan, many people tell me it is time to raise the wage from $7.25 an hour with how expensive everything has become. Others say it's unfair to force the change on business owners who are also struggling to make ends meet. The minimum wage state question will be put to a vote in June 2026. Voters will decide if the minimum wage should go up to $12 an hour in 2027, up to $15 per hour by 2029. Our lowest paid employee right now is 13 an hour. That is an entry position. Um, we wholeheartedly believe that when we are good to our people. They are good to us. Reagan Erdman is a bookkeeper and tax preparer in Pryor, and her family owns four small businesses in the town. Even though her business pays higher wages, she says raising the minimum wage will have a negative impact. When you force their hand, you're going to begin forcing people to make layoffs. She says inflation is high now and that will hopefully go down soon. But some think it's time to change the minimum wage now. You know, this is really disrespecting the will of voters and it's quite frankly delaying and denying a pay raise to nearly 320,000 Oklahomans. I talked to Oklahomans on social media about their thoughts. Brandon says we should all be trying to figure out how to bring all pay up. Record profits for companies while their workers struggle is wrong. Kevin says there's no way a person can make it from rent, their utilities and food. There's no way. And I hope that there are still good employers and good people out there who do want to pay their employees fair wage. Um, but forcing their hands to do so is just going to be a detriment. And that state question also says after being capped at $15 an hour in 2029, it will automatically increase based on the cost of living. Now, this could have gone on the November ballot, but the Secretary of State recommended this June 2026 vote since that'll be a statewide primary and say that'll save Oklahoma taxpayers nearly $2 million. Live in Tulsa, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.